Hey everybody, it's me, LaRasha, Goddess Queen, Just Me 23. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, select all. Let me know um, that you are here, talk in the chat. Again, thank y'all for being here. Hopefully everybody's doing good. So this is gonna be just a general energy uh, reading that I'm going to do for the collective. The message that I heard is that there's a divine masculine that thinks that, um, you are too happy by yourself and that he is also questioning himself what true self-love is like because you the way that you've been loving yourself and you being distant so obviously there's been some you know distance between the relationships and type of separation between you and this masculine <coughs> excuse me that's causing this masculine to go into this deep reflection of, you know, what you've been doing as far as when it comes to loving yourself, especially if you've been celibate or especially you are not out partying and doing the things that you used to do. You're not just not doing the same routine that in the same cycles that you were living day by day or year by year and things like that. You are in this totally different energy, which is allowing the your your divine masculines or others to see that you are in this glowing energy where you are really only focused on you focus on your self-healing the things that you have done when it comes to you know uh healing yourself um you know uh allowing yourself to develop and grow when it comes to being in you know hermit mode and solitude uh it's got your you know everybody has their eyes on you divine feminine at this moment and your masculine is really question what true self-love is because the way that he's been moving and operating is not like how you are. So it's, it's a, basically a big difference for him to, you know, really sit down and think about this. So he thinks that you're too happy by yourself. And he knows the reason why you're happy by yourself is the way that you may put up this personal boundary, um, you know, to him and everybody else that has hurt you or, you know, anybody that intended to hurt you, you put up this personal boundary that allow yourself to go into this, you know, shell where you start loving yourself, right? Mentally, physically, as well, emotionally start learning certain things about yourself that you didn't even know that exists, right? Or certain things that you forgot that you, that you were good in and forgot that, you know, just to even just love yourself, you just start loving yourself and start thinking and putting more time into you. And now your masculine is questioning what true self love is. Okay. So let's see what this reading is. Make sure you like, again, thank y'all for being here. I'm going to use this deck. So let's see what's going on with the collective. The song that's playing in the background is never needed no help by little baby. So again, your masculine is seeing that you never needed no help from him. See, you turned around and you was willing to walk away. Okay. Especially if there was uh, you know, people, like I said, that was trying to, you know, uh, backstab you and, you know, sabotage you, burn bridges with you. You was willing to work away, walk away and be on this journey by yourself. And they're seeing that you don't need nobody. You could do this all by yourself. Okay. You took that leap of faith by yourself with this full energy here. And you went on a spiritual aspect of it. You start learning, understanding what crystals is to help you heal faster. You know, heal mentally, heal certain things. And you start wearing these crystals. And then, you know, going on the spiritual side of this. And you start understanding that it helped you unlock your past life. Help you start healing your karmic debt. All this, right? It's not, you know, even de detaching yourself from your masculine and whatever toxic unhealthy connection that y'all have when it comes to y'all's relationship right so he's seeing the growth right and it is a growth that's slapping him in the face that's you know possibly a big 
uh, you know, a trigger moment for this masculine. You got fire energy here. So you got Aries, Leo's, Willis, Sagittarius. So somebody definitely sees um, getting ready to take action. Are they seeing that you, how you, okay, there goes the, the tennis, tennis swords, the Leo energy strength card, King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, as well as Scorpio and the Wheel of Fortune. Uh, Wheel of Fortune is Aries, Leo's, Wheel of Sagittarius. So there's fire energy here. There's Leo energy here. And then you have Cancer, Pisces, as well as Scorpio. So there could, definitely could have been a Cancer slash Leo, a Scorpio slash Sagittarius, or a Pisces slash Aries that could have been in the mix. Okay, so right now we have predominantly fire and Aries. So there's a fire sign and a water sign. There could definitely be a fire sign that could be letting go of a water sign or a Leo that could have caused this masculine to walk away from you or you walk away from this masculine um i feel like somebody was trying to stop somebody's um you know abundance from moving forward stopping them from you know being successful when it comes to uh whatever it is a relationship if it's you changing and developing within yourself is if you taking action on whatever it is that you're wanting to leave so i feel like somebody is um you know been in hesitation when it comes to you know somebody could have been controlling either your masculine or controlling you stopping you from moving forward there could have also been fear Somebody could have been in this courage, the cowardly dog energy, but I feel like somebody definitely could have also been holding back their emotions when it comes to how they feel about you and seeing that this didn't get them anywhere, right? Especially if this could also represent, you know, taking control of your life. So let's say if this masculine was a, a control freak and trying to control certain things or this feminine was trying to control certain things or these people, individual that was involved was trying to control certain things that just didn't work in their favor, you can't control your feelings. You can't control somebody back from their destiny, from them moving forward, especially from their prosperity. Okay. Is what I'm hearing. So you got fire energy here. So you got Aries, Leo, Zola, Sagittarius. This represents Leo. So there definitely could be a Leo. Somebody now sees the scar, the, the, let's say what if whatever scars that this masculine had or whatever scars that you had let's say if this was something that was causing this masculine to be in the shell or causing them not to stand up to defend themselves when it comes to their relationship or when it comes to you in in particular or just them being you know um you know being whoever this is that's trying to have this fresh start i feel like so, there was other people that was discouraging this person I feel like which causes masculine to have blocked emotions when it comes to this connection. If this is about y'all's journey or if this is about a career or if this is about this masculine, just going on this, you know, brand new energy, making changes in their life, right? Because there's somebody that definitely is having a major transformation, a major growth. Somebody is definitely tapped into their higher self or their ancestors. You have Aquarius energy here and then you have the Ten of Cups. So somebody sees you as wish fulfillment. I feel like there's other people that's getting ready to be judged because I feel like there's karmic depth, like I said at the beginning of this reading, that's getting ready to be dealt with. I feel like somebody definitely was trying to hold somebody's soul back. I just heard Shorty was trying to take my soul away. Um, that T.I. Uh, song, uh, Pardon, is what I'm hearing. Somebody definitely was trying to keep somebody from progressing, trying to keep somebody st stuck. This could have been people that you could have had soul connections with in past lives that could have had some type of cord. It could have been blood members, you know, family, friends, ex-lovers that had some type of cord that they were attached to you. That could have been something that was long, that was stopping <clears throat> a lot of things when it comes to, you know, your success, whoever the viewer is, your money, uh, let's say, and you stopping you from being this courageous leader, this fearsome, you know, human being or person or whatever you are that's watching this, right? And I feel like somebody just had, you know, lost sight of when it comes to their emotions because they have been possibly bullied or been, you know, uh, uh, manipulated so much since their childhood or their their younger adulthoods that cause this masculine or feminine not to be able to make the right decision, make the right choices, always, you know, go into this, like I said, a shell. I feel like somebody is in a shell. I, feel, I see somebody in a fetal position, either on the bed or on the floor, you know, and that's how they see when it comes to, you know, them standing up to certain people, especially if it's family members, they automatically you know, um, look, the song that's on right now is Rags to Riches featuring Little Baby and Rod Wave. I feel like they, um, they have a hard time, you know, 
being I, I'm gonna say now this masculine's getting ready to go into this rebellious energy because now they seeing their 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 star inside of themselves. So let's say this if they were having a hard time rebelling or going against you know families, elders, or you know mom, dad, whoever's involved. This person is not allowing this person to to take control of the will. In the past, they were doing that. Could have even been controlling this masculine sexual life is what I'm hearing as well. Somebody could have been as even controlling somebody's sexual life. We have a three of wands. Somebody wants to partner up with you. This could be somebody that you have been waiting to come towards you. This could be a necessary tower moment that you need to have. And this person needs to have. This person is having this shocking revelation that they're in love with you with this ten, ten of cups. Right? So like he's saying in the background, you know, somebody going to rags and riches. The type of shit is what makes a hater. And people that's trying to stop you from your abundance, stop you from your prosperity, stop you from your riches, your fame, your success. You bring a lot of haters to your situation that tries to manipulate your your emotions or manipulate your matching emotions to make y'all miss out on certain opportunities that are granted to be yours. Because again, you are a star seed. You are somebody that's chosen, right? So I feel like there's a shift that's getting ready to happen in this relationship between you and this masculine. Yeah, he's crying over his lost lover. This masculine is missing his lost lover. He hates that this is a situation that has to do with his lo his lover and then somebody that he's tied to when it comes to his family. No silver spoons. We had to pass the utensils. Die in these streets or get saved by the system. They, they ain't gonna miss you. They fuck on your partner. My girl, she the realest. I know how to pick them. I know what I did. I need you to bear with me. So y'all been on this journey, working on this journey. I'm a god in my hood. I give everyone hope. So they could have been ending a relationship with a Capricorn lover. There could have been toxic, unhealthy uh, connections that this masculine is breaking free from. From somebody could have definitely could have been pulling the strings and manipulating a certain situation. Could have been a water sign or a fire sign that could have been manipulating something in the strings when it comes to this masculine's love life as well. Is what I'm hearing. So yeah, King of Wands. So somebody's definitely stepping in their King energy. Like you said, I know. I know. My bitch is the realest, right? My girl is the realest. I know how to pick them, right? He knows how to pick them. I know what I did. I need you to bear with me. So let's say if he did sleep with somebody or if he had lack and doubt in this relationship, again, if he was letting untoxic things um, take over him and take over this connection, he's letting go of that. He's no longer allowing these people to pull the strings when it comes to this connection between you and him. So I feel like somebody is a step, definitely stepping in their power while somebody that was holding them back was is watching this masculine or this feminine become this 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 fearless leader. Okay, rags to riches. Yeah, ten of pentacles. So you got the ten of pentacles and the ten of cups here. There's loyalty here. Somebody wants to build a family with you. If you could have kids, if not, you know, if y'all have killed separate children yourself, you know, uh, merging uh, re uh, families together. But I feel this masculine sees you as two tens. You see them as two tens too. Okay. And it could have been shocking that you bring this much happiness to this masculine and these other people don't do that. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Somebody definitely was doing something behind your back. You got the eight of pentacles energy here. So somebody could have been doing spell work magic behind your back definitely doing things slander saying certain things again manipulating uh certain things having her hidden agendas while you over here focus on yourself like i told you you've been focused on yourself the song that's on right now is every chance that i get i'm gonna turn up on a hater the pick and roll so sagittarius energy here so divine counterpart you got chariot energy you got ace of wands so there goes you know, somebody getting ready to take necessary action. There could be travel that's getting ready to happen. Somebody definitely is understanding, you know, that they are a God. They are a chosen person. Now they see the inspiration in this journey. If they were not seeing that before because other naysayers was in somebody's ear, they're they're not letting these naysayers be in this person's ear. There was a lot of people in this person's ear. Whoever was in the main person or people that was in this person's ear, they were dark. They were dark. They were put there to... Stop this masculine or this feminine from moving forward in their journey. Could have been a queen of cups, a cancer Pisces as well as Scorpio. But you got this magician energy here. They want to manifest this brand new beginning. Somebody has a brand new offer that they want to give to you. It's been slow moving when it comes to this offer, but they're coming in with it. You got the nine of pentacles. You got Virgo. And then you got this 
full energy coming out. So yeah, somebody getting ready to take a leap of faith. This could have been somebody that was enjoying their bachelor life, their single life. Now they're, um, you know, wanting to jump into this lover's relationship. Now they see you as a lover. Um, they, they're the fool in love. Again, this is you, uh, healing yourself mentally, physically, as well as emotionally. This is being one step up from the emperor and the empress energy as well. Somebody taking control of their life, right? Taking this necessary leap. Look, didn't I say in the fetal position? Somebody could be living a bird nest of a situation or another, a home. Somebody getting ready to take action. Okay. I'm getting ready to turn up on a hater every chance that I get. I wish I would claim that bitch. So there could be a third party situation, a karmic energy that your masculine is choosing himself over. Okay. So general reading for the collective. General reading for the collective. General reading for the collective. Mm. We have keep it on the low throat chakra. So somebody could have gave head and you are not aware of this. This could have been something that was done behind the scenes that getting ready to come to light. So I feel like there was some secrets when it comes to, again, it could have been lies and manipulation. Keep it on the low. Somebody could got paid to, to manipulate a certain situation. Or I feel like there was somebody that gave sexual head to one another and you are not aware of it. Get your sage. So it says, keep it on the low, low key secret, hidden information, hush, not showing. You won't tell, I won't tell. Throat chakra, self-expression, inner voice, vocal, speaking one's truth. So somebody's coming out and being truthful about what it is that was going on behind the scenes, right? That they have been keeping it on the low while this masculine or feminine has been the runner. So that confirms that there was magic that was done and this person is now choosing him. Even though this masculine and this could definitely be your life partner and a divine soulmate that could be involved in this situation. So it says the runner says non-committal fear of one's love. Pride, ego, I don't love you, you go away. Black magic holds, spells, voodoo, hex, vex. Black magic, a, a sacrifice to stop union. I am here to destroy you. He slash she thinks you're the witch, not me. So it's somebody that's been doing magic undetectedly that you're masculine or you divine feminine is not aware that was doing magic. Some of you divine feminine know who the one it is doing magic and your masculine could have been the one that was in standstill and not knowing because this could have been something that was kept on the low from him. And somebody could have finally spoke it or said, I've been doing magic. You have a water sign. So I feel like it was a water sign. I can't make this shit up. That's been doing water magic on you and your masculine. So it says king and queen of cups. I'm in my feelings. Cancer Pisces as well as Scorpio. It says, uh, I can't make this shit up. So it says signs, messages, unknown force and synchronicities. My cards do not lie. So there could have been a, uh, yeah, mask off. Okay, mask off. So somebody's mask is coming off about this black magic. They getting ready to tell on themselves, or I feel, or they getting ready to get caught. So it's mask off, hidden agenda, not showing uh, true self, disguised, hidden feelings, pretending. Somebody could have been holding back their emotions. So I told you, that, look at this. If there's a water sign, their water sign is out of there, bro. And then you got that Leo energy that was reversed as well. So I don't know if there's a Leo, a Cancer slash Leo that could be involved, but a, or a Cancer or Leo by itself. But somebody definitely was uh, keeping this masculine from going towards you. But now he's in this fighting energy. He's in his highest energy, his highest self, because again, he's tapped, in, tapped into his higher self, okay, to reclaim what's his. And it so it could be your divine partner. Divine partner could have been the one that was uh, wanting you to chase him. Or you was a runner and, 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 and he's now getting ready to chase you. Okay. Underneath that it says social media. So something could be happening on social media. They could be watching and stalking you on social media. I'm fight. I'm going to fight for you. It says king and queen of wands. My passion for you is undesirable. And it says the chaser fighting for the bond. Remember the connection. Stop abandoning me. Just want to love you. And then it says divine partner, divine timing, but uh, different bloodlines. And then I know my revise of this card has uh, interracial relationships and same sex relationships at the bottom. This is just an older deck that I have that I'm using right now. So again, life partner, divine partner and divine soulmate energy has showed up. Let's say divine soulmate energy could be baby daddy, baby mama. It could be family members that could be in the mix or friends that know of you or your masculine more than five to seven years that could be in a mix that could have been involved a life partner could be codependency so let's say if there was money that was paid on the low that could be representing the life partner or if you do have a life partner that could have been involved in same-sex relationships or interracial relationships 
or was involved with some money type of scheme, codependencies that could be a situation with all three of your candidates, okay, is what I'm getting from this. So I want to go ahead and just end this reading. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment uh, in the chat. Again, if, you can, if you're in the chat and you commented, thank you. Thank you for anybody that donates to this channel because this is a pre-recorded video before it goes live on YouTube. I love y'all. Y'all be safe.